All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey pattern testing. And I've got another new choke out here today to try out, and I'm really curious to see what it might be able to do for us. So for the setup I've got out here today, I brought back out my Remington 1187 Premier here, but I picked up this choke. This is a Cabela's Black Max 660 Constriction Turkey Choke. And it kind of reminds me of an Indian Creek almost with those vertical slots cut in the side there for porting. But I can tell you the inside is nothing like an Indian Creek. So I'm really wondering how well this might actually be able to perform. And for the load I decided to bring out here today and test it with, I wanted to bring out a TSS load that I knew was a really good performer and that I had some of. So I brought out some of these guys, the Herders TSS shells. These are a 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, ounce and a half of number nines going 1200 feet per second. And these shells have absolutely been performers. So if we don't see good results, we know that chances are it's not this shell. But as for the testing today, it's gonna to be the same as usual. I have the turkey target set up at 40 yards. I also have my chronograph, so we'll be able to see our speed. So let's take you guys down and get you a view of the target. We'll shoot our 40 yard shot. We'll look at our chrono number, and then we'll go see how it performed. So let's head over here and shoot them and see what this combination can do. All right, so that shell gave us 1348 through the chronograph. The box was calling for 1200, so we're definitely a good amount above that, but that's not very unusual from this 1187 so far from what it seems like. That little bit longer field barrel definitely speeds them up a little bit. So nothing too out of the ordinary here on this one, but let's go down range and see what this was actually able to do. All right, so now we're down range at our 40 yard paper and this is the result that we got. And this is just absolute devastation, no matter what way you look at it. That bird is beyond dead. I mean, multiple in the brain, multiple down the spine there. And the entire turkey paper there is just covered in shot. And as we back up and look here, that's about as close to a perfect pattern as you could ever really want. The main concentration of that pattern, I mean, 90% of it is on that turkey paper. But even what's off of it, it almost forms an exact circle just around the edges of that paper. We do see a couple of little flyers off the edges around here, but that's not unusual for what we've seen out of these loads. So that is nothing short of just complete devastation, which that seems to be the case for those herder shells. They just shoot pretty much no matter what choke you put them through, it seems. So there's definitely no complaints whatsoever for that combination at all. That'll absolutely demolish a bird out to 40 yards and probably even farther than that too, if we were to test it at longer ranges. But I'm definitely impressed so far with what I've seen out of that Cabela's Black Max 660 choke. You just can't argue with that kind of a result. A good shell and choke combination, that's what you're gonna get right there. So definitely off to a great start with that choke, I'd say, no doubt about that. Okay, and here's the wad out of that shell. There are these orange wads that are kind of like a long beard wad, really, but they are just that little bit thicker and a little bit stiffer and a little bit shorter, obviously, because of the two and three quarter inch shell. But clearly, these things seem to work. And one thing I have noticed, for what it's worth, these wads fly all the way to my 40 yard paper. So that may be part of the reason why we see a little bit better patterns out of these herder shells. The wad hangs on a little bit longer and helps transition that shot out of the wad and into flight a little bit better. I don't know. But this wad did absolutely perfectly. Nothing down in there except that little styrofoam or foam piece that they use. Looks perfect in this test for sure, just like usual. All right, y'all. Well, what did you think about that performance? You can't argue with that kind of performance. That is just nothing short of devastation. We knew that was a good performance shell coming into it, but I definitely think that Black Max 660 choke did a very good job controlling these herder shells for sure. There's really nothing bad to say about that. That is just about perfect, I'd say. But what did y'all think about it? Is that a combination that you would use or have used? And if you've used one of those Cabela's Black Max turkey chokes, what has been your results and what have you seen and what loads have you tested through it? Leave me a comment and let me know your experience with it. And let me know what other shells you might want to see us test through that choke. But at the end of the day, that is devastation. That is just performance right there, really no matter what way you look at it. So I definitely think we're off to a good start with that Black Max choke for sure. So with that being said, I'm going to jump back 
back to doing some more testing for y'all. So stay tuned because we've got plenty more stuff coming. Even some more hunting videos coming out soon. So keep an eye out for those. And on that note, I'll see y'all in the next one.